Well, ho de ho ho, <laughs> and welcome to the Fun Astrology Holiday Season Podcast. Thomas Miller, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we're going to kind of turn the corner here and start focusing on the holidays ahead of us, because obviously the aspects that we're going to be exploring this week will set the stage for our holidays over the next two weekends. I have on the calendar for tomorrow to interview Ray Merriman about the 2024 forecast book, and I'm hoping to play some excerpts from that for you, perhaps this week or through the holidays, because it is just an excellent expose on what is ahead of us astrologically. And I hope to that end that you will make the very, very best of this holiday season with your family and friends of who you choose to spend it with. One thing the last couple of years has taught us is that there is no guarantee about the future, right? So here we are. We're going to make the very best of this holiday season, and we are going to have a blast doing whatever we're doing. Make love the theme of the holidays this year. Now, let's take a look at the week ahead of us. We have several things happening. We'll follow the moon around starting tomorrow because it moves into Aries tomorrow evening. That last aspect that we're dealing with before it does go void, of course, tomorrow will be at 4.03 p.m. If you're following this, the moon sextiles Pluto. And actually, the next two the rest of this week are both trines. So we have positive lunar action going on this week. And boy, what a perfect week for it to be that way. Now, today begins kind of the drumbeat or the theme of Mercury for this week. Mercury has several key aspects, and today's is, speaking of favorable, a trine to Jupiter. And that's at 927 this morning Eastern Time. Now, that could, even though it's a trine, that could magnify some retrograde stuff today. Just saying, especially around communications. So be careful realize that even what might seem as a normal conversation could get a little bit Mercury retrograde skewed, and then Jupiter grabs a hold of it and amplifies it, and uh-oh, all of a sudden you're stomping out a fire. Now, the other thing, how you could use this, is if you are doing a practice around this, especially an early morning practice, and you catch this podcast early, then you could incorporate into your little meditation this morning just a good, healthy review, reassessment. But ask Jupiter, ask good old Lord Jupiter for an extra dose of insight because it wants to work positively with Mercury, right? So we're already in this set electronics aside, set computers aside, set technology aside, and review and reassess and reevaluate our lives, and now we could get a little extra insight. Hey, give it a try. See what you get. Okay, we have upcoming on January 10th is when the sun is going to be square to the nodes of the moon. And so we walk back from that, this idea of the moon wobble, which of course was present when the October stuff happened just before the eclipse. So we are 21 days ahead of that on Wednesday. The moon wobble is not widely followed to start with. You may not have ever heard about it, but it is something that is a phenomenon that has more than coincidental interest. And we just decided around here that we would make note of it, but not amplify it. So this Wednesday is the 21-day mark. Next Wednesday is the 14-day mark of the exact square aspect, which will be on January 10th. Okay, so just a heads up on that. And yes, I know you sharp ones that are ahead of me are saying, what? Moon wobble and Mercury retrograde in the same time? Yes, again, <laughs> it happens. It happens because they are so closely correlated that they overlap often. Thursday is really the big day of the week as far as energy goes, and we are wrapping up Sagittarius season because Thursday we turn the corner to Capricorn season. That won't be way until Thursday night, so you Sages have all day Thursday still to toot the horn. Solstice season, obviously, and we'll talk more about that tomorrow and Wednesday. Also Thursday, and we'll talk about this as well, Venus will be opposite Uranus. Speaking of Ray Merriman, don't you know he will have his eye on that? Even though the financial markets get awfully quiet this week, it will still be a factor, and that could be significant if there's some kind of a pivot. 
Okay, and then we have, let's see, Mercury conjoins the sun. I told you there were several Mercury aspects. Friday, Mercury conjoins the sun. So that and the lunar sign changes are what set the tone going into at least the December 25th Christmas holiday. Another thing we're going to hit that sets the tone here is this week the sun is going to pull outside of 10 degrees. In fact, that will be by... Uh, Thursday, let's say Wednesday or Thursday, when it moves into Capricorn, it will no longer be within the orb of a conjunction with Mars. And for family gatherings, <laughs> that's a good thing. And we'll talk about the Christmas moon later in the week. It's going to be in Gemini. I'll give you a hint with that. And don't forget, you can download it for yourself and look at it. Funastrology.com forward slash moon. Also, if you'd like to pick up that 2024 forecast book, it's easy to get. You just go to HighTimelineBooks.com, and it's right there on the front page. That links you over to where you can get it on Ray's website. But I'm telling you, if you're interested in this and you really want to know what's going to happen, not only next year, but also in the years ahead, you won't find a better body of work than the 2024 forecast book. It really is. If you want to know about next year, this is it. So HighTimelineBooks.com to pick that up. I was listening to it over the weekend and I was like, dang, this is really good. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to listen to it again. It really is. It's a great, great book and I hope you'll check it out. Okay. Well, you have a wonderful day today and I'll be back the rest of this week. We'll get more and more into the holiday mode around here and then we'll kick back our heels a little bit going into the new year. Take care, everybody. I love you. See you tomorrow.